<laughs> How's it going, folks? Welcome back to Antarctica Vlog. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, it freaking snowed last night. Uh, we've, I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd call it a blizzard, but it was, it was about 40, 50 mile an hour winds. I mean, you can still see the trees are up there, still giving it a wave, a little dangle. Actually, that tree broke last night. That definitely was not there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but hey, how's it going? It's really cold. Um, Rio feels like a, I don't know, in the single digits right now. Um, tomorrow, gonna be extremely cold. It's like a high of like four. Um, so today's video that I'm gonna film after this live stream is putting those pieces of wood on that barn to enclose it. But look who showed up. We got Hook Daddy. He was on uh, veggie duty. How's it going, Rick? You ready? you ready to feed some animals or what? Look at you, dude. I told him like, welcome back to the Antarctica vlogs, bro. It's cold out here. What'd you grab? What, what could you get? We gotta, we gotta see the goods. Let me, let me turn this off here so we got some good audio for you. How's it going, folks? Hope you're enjoying Saturday. What'd we get? Some apples. Okay, everything, every. You ever seen a red pear? No, What the hell is this kid talking about? Yeah, apples, bro. Hey, how's it going, Zane? All right, open them up. No, 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 open up the bags, the bags, the bags. Let's see, what do we got? This is good. We're, we're going to the, go with some trees today since it's so freaking cold out here. Ooh, we got lettuce. It looks like some carrots. Oh, yeah, all the good stuff. More lettuce and carrots. Oh, yeah. Some Brussels sprouts. Actually, I read you're not supposed to give them too many Brussels sprouts, so we got to be careful on that. Um, a squash or something, maybe? Comment, what, what the, what's that strat? What is that thing right there? I'm not really not really sure. But, yeah, see, Hookin' was on veggie duty. Macy, uh, Macy gathered up all the old vegetables. That's the one thing that's really nice about having farm animals is literally nothing goes to waste. And especially once we get pigs this spring, literally nothing's going to go to waste. You can just give them everything. How many do you but, want Sam to get? What, how many, what size? Uh, same size. His will fit in the, the car? He, he's going to ask me to cut him in half. If that works. Well, he should ask for prior to. We need five of them if that's the, if that's the question. We're, like I said, we're working on putting some plywood. Okay, I got, hang on, I got to get some gloves on. Please. This is bad. I think I already got frostbite. How's it going fishing at war? I need like a, like a little stand, you know, like a little Joby or something yeah. to hold this. Hopefully the audio is still good. But uh, how's it going, folks? Welcome to another live stream. You guys commented a lot in the last one saying you liked it. And we figured, hey, let's go ahead and do another one. But this time we're gonna feed the animals after a nice big blizzard. Um, so let's go ahead, let's, let's bring them some fruits and veggies and see if we can get them to eat that. And we'll give them a little bit of hay and grain, make sure the water's good. Basically, I'm gonna run you guys through the morning routine. What I do every single morning, whether it's on or off camera, I do it every single morning. Um, so today we're gonna go ahead and feed them some, some fruits and veggies. Let's go. Let's see what they're hungry for today. God, it is so cold. Like I said, we've got to board up. We have to board up their barns because it's getting too cold right now. We've also got a new hay delivery and a new farm animal is getting delivered today as well. Oh, here comes Dale. Hang on. There's Dale. Look at Dale. See, Dale Dale was the goat we bought in the last live stream. Where's the 13 Dale? They're all going to come. Look, get it, Dale. Dale, you don't want a carrot? He's like, give me that grain, boy. I ain't want that carrot. Dale, you don't want a carrot? You that carrot Dale, what's that? That's right. You don't like carrots? Look, Millie's about to eat your own carrot. Dale. All right, all right. Get your... right here. Donkey? It. We've never seen the donkey eat. Are we going to change that today? Oh, oh, no. No. Karen will eat it. She eats absolutely anything. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Karen. Karen's trying. That donkey's not too sure. Look, Karen. There's Karen. Murked. Murked. She's loving it. All right, you guys want some veggies? Here you go, Dale. Hang on, I'm gonna try to do this one-handed here. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Oh, sorry, I gave you guys a carrot shower hey, there. there oh, is the donkey? The donkey! The donkey's eating it! I've never seen the donkey eat anything. Look at him, he's got a carrot. The carrot has bit me. Carrot! No way, the donkey's eating the carrot right now. Look at the goats. How's it going, Dale? Like I said, Dale, Dale was the goat we bought the last live stream. He is by far my new favorite farm animal. He's an absolute beast. Look at Karen, she's eating. Dale is an absolute unit. He's built like a dog and acts like a dog, runs like a dog. I've, I've heard him bark a few times too. Dale is an absolute beast, but there you go. There you get some, some goat action right there. Oh yeah. They're, I can't believe you got the donkey to eat the whole freaking carrot. I've trained it's, him well. You've trained him well. Yeah, the donkey's not like super, oh, oh. Dale, Dale, how's it going, buddy? How's it going? Hey, don't eat, no, 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 don't, don't, stop. I, I don't eat that string. That string's been there for a month, and now you decide to eat it when the camera's on? What's that strat? Oh, donkey's eating celery. I just saw him. Look at him. Karen's still munching away on that apple. 
What it's what it's slam and say? Chill! Dale, you're gonna get your ass kicked by the donkey, bro. What what did Slam and say? Slayman's on wood duty right now, so you're gonna make sure he's not messing that up. Okay. If that was the smallest one that he could find. Yeah, is a four by eight. Really? Interesting. Okay, well. There you go. How's it going, folks? Can I scroll with this? No, I can't. See, the problem is I can't scroll with my gloves on. If I take my gloves off, I die. So, I'm going to just try to... What time is it in the USA? Right now, it is like 10 a.m. where I live, central. Oh, look at that donkey. Nope, oh, move, donkey. Donkey's eating carrot. This is the first time you guys have seen the donkey eat anything on my channel. We did a feeding video, and it wouldn't eat anything. And now it's munching on a carrot. How about that? And then we got Dale over here. Dale doesn't seem to like anything. I don't know what his strat is, but all the other goats, look at them. They're all chilling. And then the babies, I don't know what their strat is either. They don't want anything, I guess. They're just chilling. Oh, look at the other donkeys eating the carrot. So donkeys like carrots. And Dale likes no food. He just likes to be petted like a dog. He actually wants grain. That's definitely what he wants. But we're going to let them eat these veggies before the grain. Because once you give them grain, they're basically not going to want anything else. That's all they're going to want, so... How are you guys doing though? What are you guys, what are you guys doing today? How's it going, donkey? You guys, you guys chilling? Is it cold where you live? Cause it's cold as hell out here. We were like, dude, should we even do this live stream? Cause we might die. So we're doing this for you, okay? It's windy. It's windy. We're at the bottom of this hill. Like my house is up on that hill, right? There you can see the roof. And this wind, or this, it's coming from the north and this hill's blocking it. And um, it's about 40 mile an hour wind up top there, which well, luckily we're down here, which is really nice why I have the animals down here. Oh. Can you see these little babies? They're boxing right now. They were a second ago. I just saw one of them stand up on its hind legs and square up. Nope, they're climbing hay. Look at them. Giving it a dangle. But let's, um, we'll let them finish up some veggies. We'll come back. Dale, we'll be back with some grain. Okay, calm down. And you guys can see Millie play with dale they literally play with each other like dogs well, mainly millie just chases dale and dale runs and then the donkey this donkey right here gets pissed sometimes tries to kill millie it's a good time you guys will have to stay tuned for that but let's go ahead and uh let's check in on sorry i'm blocking the camera so these gloves are not not easy to work with here but all the chickens and the ducks they all stay in the shed right here this guy right here they all stay in there um not at night but like once they wake up in the morning they all come down and i don't really know why but they just do. So we're gonna go check on these guys. Make sure they're doing big things. There's Quacking Tyrone. Millie, Millie quit harassing them, okay? You just calm down, don't harass them. Let's see, are the chickens in here? If the chickens are in here, then they're... Oh, snap. Oh, I bet they're on their coop. I was gonna say, if they're not in here, they're probably dead. I bet they haven't even left their coop because it's so freaking cold. So Quacking Tyrone, they bull in here. It's a lot warmer and they've got some nice hay over here and, and stuff like that, but Shop's looking a little bit better than it was. He's getting them cut. Pieces. Half. Okay. So, which way is he cutting them? So, are they going to be, four? they're probably four by fours then. Hopefully, his trunk's four feet wide. Well, that's his problem, I guess. He'll figure it out. But, yeah. Look, I mean, we didn't get that much snow, a couple inches. But, it is so cold and it, it, it like rained and stuff. But, we're gonna let them keep eating. I'm gonna go and make sure the chickens aren't. Oh, I see Tom. Tom's in the chicken coop. Tom's never in the chicken coop. What's he doing in there? Tom's in the chicken coop. He's trying to stay warm. That's another thing we need to do today is board this up a little bit. I tried with some uh, old siding material and it looks like it blew over in the wind, but I'm thinking get some like plastic tarps and just staple it. But I'm guessing all the chickens are probably in here. What up, chickens? How many we got? There they are. We got six. Oh, we got, oh, who's been eating their own egg? What's, the, oh, they all cracked because it was cold. Rip, rip. Well, sorry, chickens. We didn't get to your eggs in time. And one, one of you guys started eating them. But they, they, yeah, it's, it's warm as hell. It's impression all the cold air in. It's really warm in there. Tom, where's Tom? Is there a heater in there? No, they did, body heat, bro. Yeah. Physics or something. Oh, I was zoomed in. No wonder it's so close. Tom! How's it going, Tom? How we doing, buddy? See, I put, I put some pieces of this. See, I put that siding right there to block the wind. And then I also put a couple of these. See, this one fell over. But if it wasn't for this one, look, put this one back up. They've got wind block under here, which is where Tom likes to be. 
and the ducks like to be in there too. So I just need to take a screw gun and screw some of that on today. So you got it covered from the back too. That way, you know, a little bit of a wind block for him. Cause obviously Tom, Tom likes it in there. What do you think, Millie? What are they doing? Doing chicken things? Yeah. They got water? Yeah, they got water. They got food? Yeah, they got plenty of food. Okay, well, in case they want to venture out, we'll give them some scratch. I doubt they're going to want to leave the coop today, but in case they do, there's some scratch for them. All right, let's read some comments here. What are you guys, what are you guys talking about here? Okay, we got 6,000 people. Build a play home. Yes, I'm planning on building a lot of things this spring and summer. One video that you guys are gonna see in the next couple weeks is I'm building a big shop in front of my house. I at least cleared the land for it. Millie, get out of the chicken coop. Millie, you're gonna scare Tom, come on. Building like a big shop, like kind of like the uh, this thing, but like way bigger and, and nicer, concrete floors, stuff like that. And it's gonna basically be my workshop where we build everything. And it'll be heated, lighted, we can do everything. What do I? Catch and cooks in there, right? Catch and cooks. Yeah, we'll have like a little outdoor kitchen, grill, grill sec, sec, section, um, and a lot of other things. So I plan on building, like, I want to build a playground for the goats. I want to build, um, honestly, I want to build a new chicken coop, like a bigger one, and get more chickens. And what else do we want to build in there? Like Pretty much anything. Like a dock. We want to, we want to build a dock for... The backyard pond so like it's basically just going to be a nice indoor place where we've got all the tools we need build some stuff and can kind of you know develop the farm a little bit but what else are you guys talking about here coyote hunting we're working on it i just bought a thermal scope um and a new gun i got six five creedmoor so that's going to be for coyote duty i guess but oh hooking you, you going back on feed duty here throwing them some more you throw them some more apples we can go ahead and uh We'll give them some grain. You guys can watch them eat some grain since that's what this video is, is feeding all my animals. And then we'll go, we'll go hang out with Rick and Felipe here in a bit too. So let's go ahead and get some grain out of the barn. Um, yeah, someone said heat lamp. They don't need a heat lamp. Like even Hooken was shocked how warm it was in there in that chicken coop. Yeah. Dude, it stays warm because we've also been doing deep bedding, which means you don't take out the bedding. Like when they poop, you just add more. And then the poop composts and creates heat. Um, so it's, it's actually really warm in there. They just don't want to leave. The other thing about heat lamps is it'll get your chickens used to the warm. So if they do have to come out in the cold to eat or drink, then they're more susceptible to dying and getting sick and stuff like that. So you want to make sure that, you know, they're, they're not, they're warm enough to not die, but you also don't want to baby them to where if they come out in the elements, they're not prepared for it, if that makes any sense. Get a, get a, get a chungus scoop. We need like a, like a heaping, a heaping scoop. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, because yeah, you're not, one fun fact is you're not really supposed to feed your animals that much grain in the winter. Wait, someone, someone said, use a thermal to see what's on your, oh, yeah, oh, that'd be true. Could, could, thermals can't see through walls, though, can they? Maybe they could. I don't think so, but that would actually be a good idea. Um, but you're not supposed to give your animals too much grain in the winter because um, the way they digest it, I guess, it makes them cold or something like that. I don't know. I read it on YouTube, but we give them a little bit. Um, just because I feel bad for the little guys. Um, not even a cup each, you know, probably about half a cup each. And uh, so you'll see what see what they do when we give them grain. They absolutely love it. Look at look at Dale. <laughs> Dale and Karen. Yeah, yep, yep. See it, yep. Yep, see this is what I have to deal with. Just, just, okay, okay, all right, stop, 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 stop. Now go to the next ones. While they're distracted, see, they're distracted, they're gonna eat that. Yep, go to the next one. God, you really miss a lot. Why are you, they don't eat it off the ground, Junior. There you go. Oh, oh. Then I can see the grain in there. Grain, oh, there's Karen. So we give them a little bit of grain, just to keep them happy. Huh, Millie? You wanna go, we can go check on their water? Make sure they're not thirsty out there. Thank you, Benjamin, appreciate it. All right, well, goats are gonna be distracted for a while, and even the babies. You guys can get, you guys want a closer look at the babies. This is pretty much the only way you get close to them is when you're feeding them. Look at these little guys. They're just chilling, huh, donkey? Are they, just, are they eating all your grain? 
that that darker donkey absolutely loves grain. She'll start kicking these little babies around to try to get some more. Oh, here comes Dale. Dale, what's wrong? Dude, he always sneezes. I swear he's got allergies. Oh, hi, baby. See you later, dude. What's going on, little guy? See you later, dude. All right, we're going to go make sure they got water. And then, sorry if this is like the most jerky live stream ever. I have to keep taking off my glove every time I want to change the change the deal here. But we're going to go check on their water, make sure they're good. And then we're going to go to the other goats. Come on, Millie. All right, Hookin, are you coming in or are you staying out? Make sure they don't get out. See, everything's nice and happy. Look at them. They're all eating. They're all chilling. Yeah. Well, here we go. Check on the water. I'll show you guys my water situation. Happy birthday, Gabriel. Where'd you get my, where I get my Swiss Mountain Dog? I mean, I just, I looked it up online and found a breeder. No, it wasn't that far. Maybe a couple hours from me, but donuts in the cop car. I know we should. It'd be awesome. Especially with the snow, it's all hardened up. It'd be really easy. Yeah, Millie, Millie's here. She's all right. She's, she's, she chases Dale a lot. Usually because we, we encourage it. But then the donkey usually tries to beat her up and then we have to leave. All right, they got plenty of water, but I'll show you guys the strat here. So we've got a tank heater there. And I've got, this is a Quackies and James Pond's old pool. But what I do when they need water, just lift it up, fill up the pool, basically as much as possible. This will last them, I don't know, a week, half a week, kind of just depends. I check it every day. Because if some reason we lose power and this thing freezes, they'll die. That'd be a bad deal. So fill it up with water, shut it off, boom. There you go. Kind of a makeshift. The reason why we don't have like a real, um, what do you call it? Like a livestock tank, the baby goats can't get in it. A small shallow pool like this, they can get into. And so that's why we have this until they get bigger. Once they're full grown, I'd like to get like a real, a real tank of some kind, just because it can hold a lot more water. But for now, we've got to have that for the little guys. But also, if you guys want a sneak peek of a video that's coming out of what myself being a dingus did, I was trying to move this barn, this guy, right? And uh, I hooked a chain to this eye bolt. And uh, you can tell it's kind of, it's giving it a slight dangle. You know, that's supposed to be straight, you see? And uh, yeah, you can see it's, it's a little cockeyed here. If you get a top view, yeah, that wood is not supposed to be uh, not supposed to be broken like that. So, just got a brand new brand new building, and I was trying to move it. But instead of being smart and putting eye bolts on the skis, I just used the eye bolt it came with, and uh, ended up bending out this whole entire building. So that's pretty neat. You know, just another day on the farm. What are you gonna do? I also broke the key off inside my tractor. Like the key was in it, and it was running. And my knee hit it, and it just broke the key off. So now there's a key stuck in my tractor. Oh, that was all in one day. That's actually all in like a matter of like 30 minutes on the farm. So I was pretty excited about that. But yeah, like I said, today's the video you guys are going to see sometime in the future. We're going to take these pieces of plywood and board up these doors, obviously leaving a little bit right there for them to crawl into. But you can see there's, they got a little bit of snowage um, that got blown in. So these things face south, which, we, which is what you want, but it's still blew in here. So we're going to board it up top to bottom, top to bottom, and then leave, you know, like a two three foot wide little hole here same thing with that one we're gonna try to do both uh today that way we don't have to worry about the goats freezing and dying we're also going to get a new hay delivery and like i said we're getting new farm animals today as well so take what do you guys think we're getting we're, i think there's three of them three new they're not they're not any type of bird either three new animals what do you think what do you think um what do you think we're getting take a guess here you guys think sheep sheep pigs sheep pig sheep pig sheep dog not a dog llamas pacas alpacas sheep 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 cows most of you guys are thinking sheep you'll just have to stay tuned hooking tell them that you guys just gotta stay tuned oh we need to go we need to go feed rick and felipe before they die i'm actually starting to get kind of warm in this thing this freaking this has warm oh yeah you want to see dale and millie play well that's not exactly what i thought you guys would be seeing Get him, Millie. You get Dale. You get Dale. Go play with Dale. Get him, Millie. Get him, Millie. Go get him. Go get him. 
Dale loves playing with Millie. Look at him. Get him. Get him, Millie. Go, go, go. She literally just chases Dale. This is literally what they do all day long. I'm telling you, Dale is a dog. He's part dog. Look at him. And he starts coughing. I don't know if he's just like out of shape or what. Look at him. Look at him, dude. They're literally best friends. Look at this. Oh, yeah, he'll, he'll beat your ass. Millie, you got to be careful. Karen has horns. Millie, Karen has horns. Look at him. This is Millie's daily exercise. Karen's not happy about it either. All right, Millie. Hey, hey, all done. Hey, give him a break. He's coughing. Millie, hey, all done. That's all the fun you get. I know it's not good to encourage dogs to mess with livestock, but it's just too cute, man. You can't not. Oh, there's Dale. Look at him. Oh, here he goes. What's sister at? What's he doing? You coughing again? Dale, I'm sorry. I always make Millie play with you. You don't really... Well, you like it, but you seem like you might not like it. It's okay. Hi, buddy. You're literally a dog, I swear. Look at him. Are you a dog? Yeah, you're cute. All right. We need to go feed... Oh, Millie! Hey! No! No! You cannot harass the babies. Karen? Calm down. All right, Millie. You're getting kicked out. Let's go. Come on. Hey, come on. Come on. You can only play with Dale. Dale's a beef kick and he can handle it. Hey, come on. Let's leave. Don't mess with the donkey on your way out either. This donkey will eat you. Come on, Millie. Go. Good girl. All right. Well, oh, we should probably give him some hay too. All right, let's go grab some hay, throw it on the ground. We're also gonna build a new hay feeder too today. The video that you guys are gonna watch that we're filming today, probably won't come out for a couple weeks, but that's, uh, that's pretty much what our plan is. We're just kind of doing last minute preparations before it gets real, real cold. Hopefully you guys are having a good Saturday morning. Let me know, is this a, is this a good time for these videos? I figured Saturday, I'm not always home, um, but a lot of you guys probably don't have school, obviously. Some of you guys maybe don't have work, but if you want a better, if you want a different day or time, you can't, I would do it at like 7, 8 p.m. when y'all are just chilling, but it'd be dark by then, so we can't really do that. All right, hooking. Um, you want to grab some hay? And I'm going to grab, we don't need like a full bale, just like a, you know, just a little scrap bale. We're going to grab some more feed here. You guys are going to have to bear with me while I try to do this with one hand. This is for Rick and Felipe. Just a little bit of grain, not much. Yeah, I'll give them a little bit of hay, but today we'll build a big feeder where we can put some bigger bundles of hay. Lately, we've just been chucking it on the ground, which they like. They don't mind it, as long as it's not snowing. Oh, Dale's excited. He likes his hay. Yeet! There you go. That'll last you this morning. We'll give you some more this afternoon. Dale said that's not good enough, boys. He says, I want this grain. Hey, this grain's for your cousin over there, Rick and Felipe, okay? They need some. Let's go, Millie. Hello from North Island. Half hooking, give us a what? A shoe? They want a shoe from you. Woo! Yeah. Now you probably regret asking that now, huh? All right. What up? Rick and Felipe. Hola. Look at the snow. It's so, it's like all frozen. All right, you wanna open this gate for me, Ricky? Hands are a little full. Thank you. You're a beast. There you go. All right, turn off the fence. First things first, we don't need Millie getting yeeted. Hold on. Millie, watch out, did you get it? Oh yeah, you got it. No, 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 don't do that. I don't. No, 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 here, take this, I'll show you. I was wondering why I was on this up there. You just do this. Oh, okay. See, leave that attached. Okay. All right. Rick and Felipe. Hang on. Billy, watch out, buddy. We gotta get in the pen. We gotta get in the pen. All right. Oh, yeah, they still got water. 
All right, put about half of it in here. Yep, right here. There you go, Rick. All right, put the other half in this one. Or throw the rest of it in there. There you go. Hey, hey we got two bowls. Right. Two bowls, Felipe, vamonos. Ahí, come here, amigo. Hey, hey, Rick. There you go, buddy. There you go. Perfect. All right, let's see what this looks like. They got still got some hay. Oh yeah, they got a little bit. Reconnect. Sorry. Sorry, people. There we go. We're back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I walked into the silo. I'm sorry. Cheese and rice. All right. We're working. We're moving. Come on, Millie. Get out, buddy. Hey, you know, you got to go under. Come on. Under. There you go. Good girl. All right. Let's hook this back onto that. You grab that end. There you go. Flip her on. And we're done. What else you guys got for questions who only been doing this for 30 minutes i mean that's pretty much my daily routine um I, I can do it a lot faster if i'm just by myself or not by myself but you know not talking to y'all but just make sure everything's got food everything's got water nothing's dead but today's project is going to be winterizing everything that's pretty much it i mean they can't really think of much else looks like dale's just chomping is there any more fruits and veggies back there oh never mind let's go grab the rest of these Give them the rest of these fruits and veggies. Here, actually, we'll get some of these to Rick and Felipe. Maybe. There we go. I'm coming, Rick. I'm coming, buddy. You want apples? Yay! There you go. That's your snack. Let's see if Rick likes an apple. Oh, yeah, look at him. Munch, munch, munch. He's happy with the apples. You happy with the apples? It's just cold out here, man. It's I'm just. Warm. Are you warm? I'm not bad. My head's kind of sweaty. Yeah, I need. I need one of these. I need one of them dangles. Finn is inside. For those of you that asked, he is. Uh, he actually likes being outside, but we also cut his hair, so he doesn't have much fluff. So he'd probably freeze to death out here. But we got one more apple. Yay. There you go. Perfect. Melly, what you think, buddy? You like feeding the animals? Is this, is this one of your favorite things to do? Oh, we still have veggies. We gotta go light on the Brussels sprouts. So we'll give them everything but the Brussels sprouts. We're coming back. More veggies. More healthy stuff. Where's the rest of the goats? Oh, they're all up in the barn. You guys want some more? You want this? You don't want this, Dale? I don't even know what it is. Some squash or something? You want some celery? Look, Millie wants some celery. <laughs> Dale, do you not want celery? What's the strat? You don't like veggies? Okay, we'll give them to the donkeys. They'll like them. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Just giving them some scraps here. They'll eat what they want. Sorry, I hit you in the head. Dale, Dale loves his hay. He's a big hay guy. Oh yeah, look at him. Donkeys can't have squash. Really? Does, does Hooken need to go on squash recovery duty? <laughs> what do you think it is? Really? I don't know. What's that yellow stuff? I feel like it's it's got to be a squash. It ain't gonna be fruit. I doubt. I doubt. Mason bought fruit in the middle of winter. Like, you know, I'm guessing some type of squash. All right. I guess we gotta go on. Here you go. You want that? I'm gonna go grab these so they don't die. I guess. Can't have squash. Really? Don't mess with the. Don't mess with the donkeys while they're eating. All right. We're on squash. Dale. 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 It's spaghetti squash. Macy said. See, I told you squash. All right. We're good. Dale, stay. Good dog. Okay. Perfect. Good enough. 
Yeah, no, the donkeys are finally eating the veggies. About time. Huh, buddy? About freaking time. I made a whole video and you didn't do anything and now on live stream you're eating it. What's that strat? Well, most of the animals are taken care of. They're chilling. I guess I'll sit here and answer some questions. Your car? Is your car start? Let's go sit in your car. It's a little warmer. The way I can answer your guys' questions. I know when I do these live streams, I try to answer your questions, but most of the time it's just me talking to myself and you guys pretty much just stand there and ask questions that don't get answered. So it's gonna be an opportunity. What? Look at this guy. What's, bro? You, your, your donut sticks got dunked. What's the strat there? You're living your best life here, huh? Millie, you want a donut stick? Don't tell mom. Okay. All right. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just get it in here for a windbreak. Okay. Just a, just a windbreak. Wow, this feels great in here. What a difference. Shoo! I had a cannibal. Um, I was about to declare World War III on it, and um, it just stopped. I think, I think it chickened out. So, Millie. Did you like that donut? Yeah, you're probably not supposed to have donuts, are you? You're not supposed to have chocolate. I guess that's not the same thing, but... The breed, she's a Swiss mountain dog, and we're going to try to breed her when she's old enough. Um, to Riggs, the other farm dog. So if any of you guys are looking for a Swiss Bernese mix in like the next year or two, you can get one from me. No one knows what the deal with parrot kids. He's MIA, buddy. <laughs> no idea. Snowmobile would be pretty cool. Wouldn't, wouldn't mind having that. The bees, we, uh, there's actually a video coming out next week, this coming week or something. Um, we moved them. We moved them to my house. I don't know what's on my lip right there. We moved them to my house. And uh, so they're chilling in my backyard now, not the farm, so we can watch them better and stuff like that. So Dale is the goat we bought on the last live stream. The last live stream that we did, it was at the animal auction, and uh, we bought Dale. Bonzo's at the zoo. I could not tell you, to be honest. It's freaking freezing. Bonzo's at the zoo. I don't know why he's at the zoo when I got a zoo here. He can come take care of these animals, I guess. Uh, video not today. Well, that's what kind of what I've been doing since videos, getting videos is a little bit harder um, in the winter, especially with trapping season coming to an end. So I've kind of substituted the Saturday upload to a live stream. Um, but I don't know how long I'm going to keep this up because, I mean, I feel like, you know, eventually you guys are going to get tired of these. I just wanted to do them um, for just a little while just to, one, give you guys content on a Saturday since I'm not going to be uploading as much. Um, to answer your questions and do some different things and I mean if you guys like this stuff I'll do them I don't care if there's four people in here watching if you four want to watch it I'll do it it's not like it's really much work it's just a you know coming up with an idea as far as what to do um, but if you guys like the live streams I'll keep doing them they're pretty chill uh brew bakery still there haven't been there in a long time um we stocked you know you've seen us stock it we were trying to let it sit um and let some of those bass eat some of those green sunfish and stuff um, just kind of letting the fish do their thing, but we're gonna we're gonna try to do some more management on it this spring, and get some get some more fish in there, more bass. Uh, video schedule is Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, so Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. But um, I and I've done that since like last May, I think. But like I said, with, with videos getting becoming a little bit harder to make with the winter, it's really cold. Like, tomorrow's high is literally four degrees. Like, if you think I'm going to go outside and film a video, you guys are freaking nuts. That's also why I want to build the shop in front of my house so I can make videos just building stuff. Um, you know, heat up the garage, build some stuff. That way you guys get content. But there's no way in hell I'm out. I'm going to be out checking traps or even setting traps. We have zero traps set. We pulled all of our traps uh, because it's been so darn cold. Um, there's no way I'm going to be setting traps or ice fishing or doing any of that if it's four degrees as like the real temperature, you know, with wind, it's going to be in the negative. So sorry, just not able to do that. So, um, but you guys will see a normal upload every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, pretty much no matter what, except for Super Bowl Sunday. I might not, I might not upload that day, but she's, Mace is good. She's inside. She's probably cooking or something, making some soup. It's freaking cold. That's what hooking, hooking, you know, what's for lunch? What? Some chicken. Some chicken noodle soup, like homemade. Dude, it's fire. I had some last night. Oh, so good. You be excited for that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you sound excited. More hunting videos. Well, hunting season's coming to an end there, Rick. I tried to do as many hunting videos. I mean, I did some deer. I had some duck. 
I mean, we did Dove. I think I did. Yeah, I did Dove. I did Crow. I hunted everything. Bullfrogs. Name brown. Name the oh oh comment. Name the brown donkey bandito and the other one milk toast. That would actually be kind of. It kind of looks like milk toast. A little brown and white. Milk toast, man. More pot pawn shop videos are good. We could do that. Hook in if you can come up with an idea for a pawn shop video. You let me know, Junior, because pawn shop videos are kind of fun. Except when you buy things and then do illegal things. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. But um, that got handled. Don't worry. Bonzo Slayman wrestling match. Bonzo, no offense to that beefcake, but he would get his ass kicked. Sam was like a state champ wrestler in high school. <laughs> Bonzo's never wrestled, neither have I. So I would, I would also get my ass kicked by Slayman in a wrestling match. Uh, get a suppressor. Yeah, I've, I've thought about getting a suppressor. I think it's kind of hard to get, but I'm, I'm going to look at it. How is hooking? Someone asked how you are. I'm doing good. You on, you on Tinder? You find anybody or what? No. No. He didn't find anybody. Sadly, no. No. Breed. What's what's comment? Oh, oh, back up. Breed. Breed. Breed your Lamonchas and milk them. Uh, I don't know what a Lamoncha is, but one of the goats, that girl that has the babies, she can be milked. And Hook is supposed to go pick, pick up a milking stand today. Isn't that right, buddy? Mm-hmm. And we're going to try to milk her for a future video, so. These guys actually know who I am. I haven't been in a video in since. No, no one knows who you are, actually. You're just, you're just that kid that's just in the. Yeah, I'm just the, You're just the kid in the live stream, so that's yeah. how people know who you are. I'm, I'm referred to as the kid. You're the kid, yeah. You're just the kid. Collab with Kendall. I know we need, we need to bring Kendall to the farm or, or have Kendall or me go to Kendall's place and do a video. Him and I talk a decent amount every once in a while. What about the thing on your wall? Yeah, no, I don't know the, I think it was a squirrel. It just hasn't been there for a while. I hate to talk to other YouTubers on other YouTube channel. Oh, what do you think of John coming from Bass Pro Shops, working there, not having a base? I don't think John ever worked at Bass Pro. I don't think he did. John B? Yeah, he didn't work at Bass Pro. I don't no. I'm like I know. I'm like I'm like 99.9% .9 sure he never worked at Bass Pro. He might have worked in, like, a little tackle shop. It wasn't Bass Pro, though. Definitely wasn't. But anyways, yeah, super, super cool that we have the Bates and Bass Pro now. Um, yeah, I don't think he worked there. Like he might have worked in, like, a different place. But it definitely wasn't Bass Pro. Anyways, but, yeah, all the Guggen stuff's going to be in Bass Pro, Cabela's, Academy, Dick's, Field and Stream, Walmart. Um, pretty much all that. Pretty much every store is, is we're looking at 2020 to, to be just loaded in there. Um, next meet and greet. I haven't been meet and greet in a while. Should do that. Uh, the pigs got eaten. Um, bacon. Yeah, actually sounds pretty good right now, to be honest with you. Dale's goat. Yeah, Dale is the boar goat. He's like the brown and white one. He's the one we bought at the live stream. He's awesome. He's hands down my favorite animal. He's got the most personality. He's just an absolute beast. When's the next finger trapping video? Uh, actually, my bobcat video drops Tuesday. Nope. Sunday? Sunday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, me trapping a bobcat um, goes up. So it's pretty cool. In the backyard, literally right here. I'll show you. Like, right in there in the backyard is where I trapped the bobcat. So that's pretty neat. Um, um, going to the auction? I can't do next weekend. It'd have to be like two weeks next time I go to the auction. We're thinking about bringing Felipe there, selling him. And then buying some other stuff. No, he's not related to Rick. He's just the same breed, but not related. How's it going, Spencer? I thought about getting pheasants and quail. Um, Trapper Jay, if you guys saw him, he's been in one of my videos. He raises quail, so we, we've been talking with him about getting some of his, um, like, the babies, basically, and raising them. And then I'm also thinking about getting pheasants um, as well, just because they're cool. And uh, it would be pretty, pretty sweet. No, I don't want to eat Felipe, bro. He's gross, man. Nah, he's not a meat goat either, I don't think. I think he's just a milk he's just a milking goat. Um Build a tree stand, I think. I'm sorry. I'm trying to read these comments. They're going freaking fast. Are you going haywire? Yeah. Uh, yes, I'm getting the bobcat mounted. Um, full mount. For sure, dude. Big extra in your pond for a crab. Yes. That is another video. Actually, we were thinking about doing that today until we realized it was cold. Uh, we're going to cut down a ton of the cedar trees. Like, my tr property has, like, 4.3 trillion of them. Um, if we can cu cut down, like, maybe 50 of them and sink them with some cinder blocks and give some, give some crappie and bass and bluegill some, some cover for the spring. Getting married now. Well, it's actually this year, 2020. 
this late spring, early summer. Ostrich. I saw an exotic auction, like not that far from me. And they had literally zebras and kangaroos. Millie, Millie, chill. They had zebras and kangaroos and like all sorts of weird stuff. So I'm thinking about copping one of those things too. We're going to go until 45, folks. So you got like four-ish more minutes. Um, we're going to kind of keep this one short. The last live stream I think was like literally two hours. Um, but I appreciate you guys coming in. Like I said, if you guys enjoy the live streams, let me know. If you have any other live stream ideas, uh, like a catch and cook live, or you can see us like cook live would be kind of cool. That'd be a decent idea. Um, like I said, you've already got us feeding the animals, checking traps, kind of my daily routine of, of stuff like that. But in the, in the auction, we did the auction as well. So if you guys have any other live stream ideas that you'd like to see, let me know in the comment section down below, even if you're watching this, not live. Um, yeah, cook live. I think it'd be cool to cook live. You guys could see like the raw version of cooking. Um, ice fishing, I've thought about going down to my pond and ice fishing live. The problem is the reception absolutely freaking sucks. Um, it absolutely sucks down there. So um like you can't even make a phone call so it, it wouldn't work name my dog for me or ask what or ask the people someone name someone name daniel's dog okay we need dog names for daniel when's the guggen brand coming to cabela's bass pro in canada Ooh, i don't know about canada tbh not sure about the canada grind right now um The ducks, the ducks are in the shop. Uh, they were at the beginning of the video. They're by the tractor right now. They're just chilling. Kangaroos would be dope, dude. We probably couldn't have them in the winter. Or you'd have to like keep them really warm, I assume. But um, Rick and Felipe. So we wanted, what we want to do is we want to get rid of Felipe. The only problem is we're not positive that Felipe has impregnated Karen, which was the goal. So we probably should just put Karen back to make sure she gets pregnant. Once she gets pregnant, we're gonna sell Felipe and then put Rick in the big pen and then use that small pen for when like Karen has a baby or one of the donkeys has a baby. And that way they're kind of by themselves in like a nice little warm enclosed area, if that makes any sense. So, I don't know, within the next few weeks, hopefully, we'll have Rick over there, Felipe gone. And then when something wants to pop out a baby, that'll be their little section or keep pigs there or something like that. But. Um, uh, ice fishing video probably closer to the end of the month. Um, I'm gonna try to get out there this week when it gets a little bit warmer. But what's up, Isaac and Chris? Yeah, live stream catch and cook. That's what that's what I, I'm thinking. A live stream catch and cook would be would be pretty neat. Let, comment what we should actually catch and cook. Should it be like a chicken, or it could be like a goat, or something like that. Shoo! Do a Felipe. I don't really want to eat Felipe, man. He's kind of gross. He's just, he's just, he's just not a meat goat. You know what I mean? Peacocks are gone. We let them free range, and they're just MIA. Probably coyotes or bobcats, since we know there's bobcats here. But yeah, since it snowed, we see bobcat. We see coyote tracks literally everywhere. Like, there's so many coyotes in my backyard. So I went and got a thermal, um, and a new gun. So we're gonna start doing some night hunting since we can't really get them to come during the day. But twelve wheeler update. I, how, I was getting it worked on, um, and it, they completely fixed it, and then when they went to test drive it, the whole engine seized up. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, if I'm just going to ditch it or put a new motor in it or what. So it was almost done. Like, literally, they were out test driving it. They're like, yep, we got it perfectly fixed. Test drive it, the whole engine just seized. So I don't know what that strat is. Um, yeah, zebras would be pretty dope. Jet, we were talking about that hook in and I were talking about jet skis. Aren't we hooking? Oh yeah. Jet skis would be yeah, sick. We, we gotta find like if we just go, if we just if we just go like rent some jet skis for the day. Millie, what what is this strat? She says, You got any more donut sticks, bro? <laughs> you got any you got any more of them donut sticks, bro? You wanna go inside because it's freaking cold. I know you're a mountain dog though. You like this cold weather. I'm not a mountain dog, so I don't. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. a uh, little bit shorter. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. It was just supposed to show you kind of the raw version of what I do every day. Come down, make sure everything has hay, make sure everything has grain, a little bit of grain, make sure everything has water, make sure nothing's dead, and uh, pretty much do that like once or twice a day, every single day. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, no giveaway on this one. I apologize. Maybe the next one you have to stay tuned. I think the next one will be cooking. 
I think we'll, we'll do a cooking video, some type of catch and cook live. I think that'd be pretty cool. Plus, we can do it inside, which, you know, at this point in time, I'm all about that inside life because it's freaking freezing out here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you next time. Peace.